I'd like to talk about Billy Wagner a little bit because, uh, you know, I covered Billy with the Mets back at Shea Stadium, and I, here's the thing that keeps coming back to me. I never looked at Billy and said, this is a Hall of Fame closer, and I think part of that was he pitched in the era of Mariano Rivera and Trevor Hoffman, and we had these guys on that pedestal. So I think the more you look into Wagner here, and he's got some, some climbing that he's been able to do already, I think he's getting close to the 75%, so it's not going to matter what I say here, but uh, just looking into the reasons you wouldn't put Wagner on there. He never led the league in, in saves. Um, only got five Cy Young votes total across his whole career. And part of the problem, I think, is that there's just not that many relievers in Cooperstown. And he's had to go up against the Goose Gossages and the Bruce Suters. And it's hard to compare them, and especially when you're going against the Mariano Rivera. So I'm kind of on the bubble here with Wagner. You can convince me, I'm sure, about I, Billy I, Wagner. You know, I am very, very pro Billy Wagner. He has the most strikeouts for any left-handed awesome. left reliever. He he struck out 33% of batters. That is ridiculous. Um, I also like Jaws, which is that uh, fan graphs metric on how he stacks up against other people uh, who are already in Cooperstown. He is the sixth best reliever using that metric in baseball. This man belongs in Cooperstown. I know he was never the top, the best, the best of everything, but it was because he was pitching at the same year as Mariano Rivera. And when you think about the archetype, when you think about the stereotypical blow it away closer, you think Billy Wagner. I mean, he had that fastball that could just absolutely dominate hitters, and you wanted him on the mound in a big game situation. So he's a Hall of Famer 100% of my Yeah, life. I agree with you, Laura. I'm going to go by two things here. Number one, the old eye test. I watched him. He was one of the more dominant closers. I felt like Billy Wagner was a Hall of Famer while I was watching him. Number two, if Trevor Hoffman is in, then Billy Wagner should be in because guess what? He was better. And this is why I don't know how you go by the stats, but pound for pound, if I had a game to close, Wagner or Hoffman, I'm going with Billy Wagner every single time. I think he was better. Hoffman, more a compiler. If you're going to put one in, I think the other should be in as well. All right, Jim, what about you? Does Billy Wagner, in your opinion, belong in the Hall of Fame? So uh, I think he should be, you know, I think like Lars mentioned, I think he was one of the most dominating relievers. He did get overlooked by uh, some by Rivera and Hoffman. He, had, he was a two pitch pitcher when it came to get uh, being a strikeout guy late in the game. He had over 400 saves, almost 12 strikeouts per nine. If you look at even wins above replacement, he was about, I think, one more behind Lee Smith, who is in. I know Lee needed some help to get in. Uh, but, you know, I think that um, and, and really, if you look at some of the other Hall of Famers out there, he stacks up favorably with all of them. I, I like to use uh, Jaws as well. Jay Jaffe's uh, metric there for Hall of Fame voting. And he is the next reliever uh, outside of the ones that are in the hall already. He's the next guy in terms of rankings, if you use Jaws as a metric as well. So for me, he's a guy that absolutely should be in. I think it's his ninth year on the ballot. He's right on the border, and I'm hoping he gets in. If he doesn't, I'm hoping next year uh, with Laura's help and maybe Brian's <laughs> help we can get him in.